I'm Larry the Butcher. We're gonna drink a beer. Lake Port Red. There's a story behind this beer, behind this brewery, to be more precise. Um, Lake Port was a mid-sized brewery located in Hamilton, Ontario. It was independent. It was its own company. It was a registered income trust. It wasn't an actual stock. Um, and it gave the people that operated the company a great deal of freedom. They could concentrate on product without having shareholders behind them yelling and screaming, I think. It's kind of neat. Actually, they became quite successful and quite big um, to the point where InBev bought them. Uh, it was ran by a woman by the name of Teresa Cascioli. Uh, she got a pretty big name around in Hamilton and very, very successful woman and, you know, kudos to her. So we're going to try Lake Port Red. Not being paid by anyone and definitely not from my brew box. So I just, uh, I have no spec sheet on it, so I'm going to trust the interwebs. Let's go to the Beer Advocate, beeradvocate.com. Now, <laughs> the funny thing is Lakeport Brewing was located in the same building that Creative Arts is located in, in Hamilton. Um, I've sampled several of their beers. Um, the one which I mention fairly often is called Ransack the Universe, which I could hardly drink because its IBU is so high. Legend has it um, that the building needed a lot of work and that um, either the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs was going to shut the building down or the health department was. So they moved production to Moncton, New Brunswick and shut down the plant. It is now being occupied by Creative Arts. Uh, that was like three or four years ago. Okay, according to the Beer Advocate. <laughs> according to the Beer Advocate, Lake Port Red is a medium bodied and balanced beer. Three types of malted barley create this warm and red co copper colored beer. 5.9% alcohol. Um, I've had several bottle can bottles of it in the last week or so. Um, it's IBU is probably zero. Here, here's a review. <laughs> um, maybe this should be called beersnob.com. This is Lakeport's newest buck of beer, and a buck of beer is too much. This is a pure adjunct and sugared all to hell mix of kaif. What's kaif? I'll put a definition up. The pour is a peeling dark copper with a beige head and some retention. The aromas are straight out the gutter wet paper, burnt malt, stale hops, maybe some old damp hay. The flavor profile is sweet and faux, like brown sugar mixed with Lakeport Pilsner, a touch of old hops and cardboard with syrupy ass. A complete debacle. Oh, my battery's dying. A complete debacle in a bottle. Why bother making a new color of beer you already produce? So that was written by a gentleman named Mr. Manning. Seven years ago. November 17th, 2009. So it's not a new beer. Well, the highest uh, out of five. Well, let's crack it open. Beer is regulated by the province of Ontario and probably most provinces in Canada. Did you know? How stupid is this? Me as a Canadian, I cannot go to Quebec or Manitoba and buy a case of beer in either province and bring it into Ontario for consumption. It's been struck down, but they can still give you a hard time. grateful that, that beer is being made in Hamilton again. Um, there used to be a beer called Steelhead. Steelhead beer. Steeler beer. The Steeler beer. I don't know if that was from Hamilton or not. But um, I've, I haven't disliked this beer, but you know, as has been said, I'm not no stretch of a beer snob. Um, So, 
Is it red? And dark amber could be considered red. Red. Now, reading that one review, um, it is very sweet. Doesn't smell hoppy or anything of the sort. And yeah, it's a buck a beer. Like, that's cheap in Ontario. I know. I know you can get a two four of uh, Bud in Niagara Falls, New York, for like twelve dollars. Um, two four might not be a term you guys know of. A two four is Canadian slang for a case. Twenty four. Um, and then there's a twelve. And this this isn't an offensive beer. It's not going to challenge you. It's not going to go. Ooh, this is amazing. But. If you're poor or cheap, or there's nothing else in the shelves, there's this. Have you had some of this, Aaron? I'm sorry, what? Have you had some? some what? Lake Port Red. Have you tried any? Am I poor? Is that why I want it? <laughs> cheap. Oh, you heard that <laughs> part, but you didn't hear the rest. It's like sweet. It's like sweeter. It's the sweetest. Kind of watery. Right? Well, it's a, it's There's a, not a lot to it. It's a buck of beer, so yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not gonna have sad. How much hops. did you pay for it, Larry? I got it was payment. You were compensated. I was compensated. I bartered I for it. I have red thing. I was saving it for later. It's a cheap beer. It's what it is. It doesn't claim to be anything else. So, how much can it doesn't need to be anything? You else. you can't beat up you're, something that's already down. You're fine just the way you are, Lake Port Red. Don't you go changing. <laughs> Lake Port Red, the beer that doesn't need to change. Don't go change. I've cooked with it a few times. Um, it's. It's beer. It's not, you know, if there are people that are going out of their way to get this, well, like, their tastes are far different than um, even the moderate beer connoisseur. It's not horrible. But yeah, it's I'm starting to get that watery, watered down kind of a thing. So maybe what they do is they buy alcohol like, and then concentrated alcohol and then they dilute it and they add some food coloring and some sugar. Does it say beer? <laughs> it says premium beer. That's the good stuff. <laughs> wow. It's just beer. It's it's cheap beer. Premium it says so right there on the You're not going to notice any unique taste out of this beer. But if you just want a beer, maybe that's all you need. <clears throat> Thanks for taking the few minutes to watch this episode. I am, of course, Larry the Butcher. Don't forget to like this episode. Comment down below. Do you work for Labatt's or InBev or Lakeport? Comment down below. We can talk. I can do stuff like this. Share this episode on all your favorite social media. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see me drink more beer. Cook, butcher. What else have I done? Go on adventure walks. Go on motorcycle rides. That'll be coming. Um, and of course more fishing videos. Thanks once again. And we'll see you later.